Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Skinwalker. Now, it has been very, very hard for me to get these gameplay videos out to you guys. I'm so sorry for the delay. Um, I've just been so uh, working on these other great videos, but they aren't coming out anytime soon because they take a lot of production and planning. But they're going to be awesome and totally worth this trip, so just be patient on that one. But I am still going to try to get games to you, so I'm recording at like midnight in my hotel room, so I hope that I'm not too loud for my neighbors, or else I'm gonna get some police banging down my door. But anyway, let's get into this game here. The following story really happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Maybe it didn't happen as I saw it, but more on that later. Okay, you can't make up your mind there, kiddo. We were all going out camping, me and three friends from university. You know, University of University. Let me introduce my friends. This is Darren. I wouldn't say that he is our group of friends leader. Or actually, I would. This guy cannot make up his own mind. He's the one that always gets us all out of the house and into the action. He's the first one to hit on that cute girl at the bar. He's the first one to jump from the roof into a swimming pool. That is a terrible life decision. According to himself, he was even more impulsive when he was a kid. I can only imagine his childhood and how often he must have broken his legs, scraped his knees, and hit his head. One of those things is not like the other. Still, if it weren't for Darren, we wouldn't have had half the amount of fun we have. I'm sure that this story ends in death, so, uh, maybe not. This girl is Celeste. We have known each other since we were children. We met each other when she moved into the house next door when I was seven. My mom told me to go show her around the neighborhood, and after that we were inseparable for a few years. She's a nice girl, although her health isn't the best. She has some kind of heart problem, which I forget the name of. This forced her to be away from school during extended periods of time during her childhood. Because of this, until we started university, I was her only friend. Still, she never complained and I've always seen her have a positive, happy girl. Next, this is me. I am Joe. As the name implies, I'm pretty normal. I don't have any overwhelming bad qualities, but on the other hand, I don't have any overwhelming good ones either. So you're normal and average? I live in this apartment a short walk from my university. This is where us four friends usually gather before going out. I'm sure many of you Joes out there are amazingly awesome people and this guy is just totally weird. This guy here, looking all relaxed on my bed, is Michael. With my neighbor, oh he's my neighbor, living in the apartment next door. One day, while I had Celeste over, he just barged in. Hey man, your place looks pretty nice! Mind if I join you for dinner? He said. That's trustworthy. As you can imagine, he's pretty pushy. I don't think he realizes it himself. He came over several times after that day. After that, we somehow naturally became friends. If you say so, man. So how does this translate in- Oh. So one day Darren came with the idea that we should go camping in the woods with trees that look like faces. Or they have faces. Darren said his family had a cabin a little bit into the forest. So camping we went. It could be fun, right? Wrong! Of course me, Michael, and Celeste disliked the idea of staying in a cabin. It's a camping trip. We have to sleep in the wilderness. So Darren told us about the woods near the cabin. I don't remember much about the trip to the cabin. We joked around, took a few breaks, normal stuff. Either way, we drove up to the cabin and left the car there. We took a short break in the cabin and set out into the wilderness. We went pretty far in, I can't say how far in the distance exactly, but it took several hours to get where we set up camp. The first day we just screwed around, nothing abnormal happened. A bit, a bit of a, a no, 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 kid story. Kid story with blood and death. But then, dun dun dun! -uh. Wait, what? Seems like a bright, sunshiny. Day. Oh, I'm walking around. Okay, this is where the game actually starts. Did you sleep well last night? Oh, I slept well with you, baby. Mm, it was a wonderful night's nice sleep. Okay, that guy's clearly asleep. Morning there. Or should I say, good afternoon? Fix us some wood for the fire, will you? Well, screw you, buddy. I'll get... I set out to gather wood for a new fire and water to cook with. Wait, no one mentioned water. Why do I need water? Where am I gonna get water? I'm guessing this is where things go horribly wrong. Oh no, everything's gone horribly wrong, I'm gonna say in about ten minutes. Let's see, okay, yes, I see. 
Oh, wait, what? When did I get here? I did not go here! Okay. What is that sound? Uh, demons? It doesn't sound like something you'd hear in a forest. Maybe because it's demons? I really hope I'm not too loud for my neighbors. There we go! A bucket of water! Goody, goody gumdrops. What else do I do? Can I get the fudge out of here? Oh, <laughs> suddenly I'm back. The sound stopped. Oh, so suspiciously. Hey, it's just, my head hurts. Are you the skinwalker? Skinwalker is like a Native American, uh, tale. About someone who can turn into animals. We sure had a blast yesterday, didn't we? Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Stop that, you dirty minds. We sure had a blast. <laughs> okay, this guy's still asleep. Maybe I'll go in the tent. No need to go into the tent right now, so, uh... Pour water into the cooking pot. We can cook now, and let's light up a fire. I should have enough wood to make the fire last a while tonight. Light it on fire. Wait, light it on fire? Lady? All right, let's cook something up, shall we? Oh, let's get it. Let's get it heated up in here. Preheat that wood by telling it it's pretty, and then slide your pot right on. What? No. Later that evening. Oh, isn't this nice? All sitting around the fire. Can I move now? Okay, I can move. Hey, dude, what the hell is up with this fog? Every time I've been here before, there has never been any fog. That couldn't possibly mean some demons. It's time to go to sleep soon. We're all out of booze. Guess we have to go back to town tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that four-hour trek. Maybe we shouldn't have gone so deep in. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Hey, I can't get to the girl. Hey, why are you guys cock-blocking me? I want to... There we go. It's really chilly outside for being in the middle of summer. Hey, anyone else hear that sound? Uh, the sound of demons? Yeah, now that you mention it, what is that? Sounds like something metally. Metally? <laughs> is that even a word? Are you stupid? Shut up, a-hole. It's a word if I say so. Okay. I'm guessing I'm going to be the one that's sent out to investigate. It stopped. Maybe it was some kind of machine. Who the hell would go out hours from the nearest civilization in the middle of the night and start revving up some kind of weird machine? Who gives a shit? It's probably someone using a chainsaw or something. That's also not good. Let's go to sleep. I'm tired while someone's revving up a chainsaw. Are you ready for bed, Celeste? You ready for bed? I'm sure that was no chainsaw. I wonder what it was. Okay, what was it? Sleepiness soon overtook everyone. What the hell? What the hell? But something woke you up a few hours later in your half-wake state. You stumbled outside the tent. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> Uh oh, the fire's about out. Uh, Darren, Michael, Celeste, is that you? What, you mean they weren't in the tent? The mist is even thicker than before. I can't see much. Maybe because it's also night. Um, I guess this is the part where I wander out into the woods. Okay, here we go. Hello? I may have not have mentioned it, but I really don't like camping. I really don't like camping. Not for the sake of I think there are monsters in the woods, but mostly for the sake that I just don't like camping. What is that sound? I see a shadow up there! I try to, I'm trying not to be loud for my neighbors! I see a shadow up there. Is that you, Celeste? Celeste, is that you? M M Michael, is that you? Because <laughs> it's dark and I can't see you. Say something, will you? Who are you? Okay! Nope, 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 get out of there! Whoa, stop right there, I have a knife! Oh, screw you, screw you so hard! Oh my god, run away, you dick! Shit! What the, what the hell is that mumbling, you fucker? I'm going back to the tent. Hey, no, I want to see what it was. Don't, you can't, you can't just do that and not see what it is! I want to see what it is! I'm going the other way. You can't stop me. Oh. I'm going back to the tent, cause I'm a big baby. I'm a big whiny baby. 
Oh, baby, want to run back to his friends? Hey, wake up! There's something outside the tent. It's dark and scary and... Uh, what? Uh, I'm sure there is. Lots of squirrels and shit. Go back to sleep. Hey, is Michael here? Mm, yeah, I'm here. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. The thing outside looked like you. It was probably some animal. I don't think we have to worry about a fox or whatever. Take it easy and go back to sleep. Well, all right. Maybe it was just some animal. Okay, never mind. But those sounds... And the shape was humanoid. A few minutes later... Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Okay, drop it. Whoever that is, I want to go to sleep already. It wasn't me. Me neither. That didn't sound like any of our voices. <laughs> okay. Should we go outside and look? What if it's some crazy psycho with an axe? All the more reason to check it out. It's not like the tent is some kind of impenetrable fortress. True that! Seriously, if that was one of you guys, tell me right now. This ain't funny no more. What? No. <laughs> okay, everyone get out together and check it out. I ain't going alone. Good idea. Most people in horror movies like this don't do that. What are we doing? What the heck is that? Whoa! Okay, there's a dead something. Someone was definitely here. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! C calm down, Celeste. We are four against one here. It'll be fine. What if the dude got some kind of weapon with him? I mean, he killed this little critter, didn't he? Michael's right. We gotta get the hell out of here. We can't just up and leave. It's the middle of the night. What about our stuff? Swear our stuff! I'm not staying here another minute! Fine, we'll leave. But at least bring the flashlight and some food and water. Some guy with some sense here! I think you're overreacting, though. We haven't seen anyone. Still, someone or something left this dead creature here. We can't exactly go back to sleep, no worries. I guess you're right. I'll go get the flashlight. Everyone bring some stuff you think we might need. A couple of minutes later. All right, let's go. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like an RPG reel. They all went inside me. What is that, anyway? Is that like a squirrel? It seems too big to be an actual squirrel, but... Okay, whatever, let's just go. <laughs> I know we'll meet up with that thing. Okay, shift to run faster. Which is something I haven't seen since, uh, uh, the witch's house. It's so dark. At least it's still summer. It's not pitch black. This fog is really annoying, though. We're going back to the cabin, right? I guess that's the plan. It's probably not a good plan. Maybe you should just get the hell out. I heard that. What is that? Okay, I gotta mention, this is really cre This isn't as creepy as the other hotel room I've been in, but um, recording these games in an unfamiliar location is kind of strange to me. A while later, it became obvious Darren had no idea where we were going. He was swearing and looking all around. We have been walking for an awfully long time now. Are you sure we're on the right path, Darren? I've walked this path hundreds of times. We're on the right path. I don't recognize anything from when we were walking to camp, though. I SAID WE'RE ON THE RIGHT PATH! But as time went on, it became obvious that Darren had no idea where we were. Wasn't that what you just said? Darren couldn't find the path. Maybe it was the fog, maybe the darkness, maybe something else. Either way, we were lost. I kept looking behind me. I was having that feeling where you think someone is watching or stalking you. I nearly tripped over Celeste when she fell. Help Celeste up. No! No! I, I'm actually gonna do no. No! She took her head and got to her feet. <laughs> the ground was getting muddy. I mean, it was giving even mistier. Celeste can pick herself up. She doesn't need my help. If not for the flashlight, I wouldn't have any idea who she was. What was that supposed to mean? I recognize that tree. We're getting to the cabin. 
Is it the tree with the face on it because he told you where it was? Again, I had the feeling that something was watching me. My gut was screaming that something was somewhere was wrong. I realized the sound from earlier was back. Softer, but still present. I started looking around, panicking. Did a head count, or more accurately, a silhouette count. Me, Celeste, walking beside me. Darren in the lead, Michael to the left. Who the heck was that guy beside Michael? I quickened my pace. Why didn't you tell them about it? I thought about shouting out, but was worried. If I did, maybe the thing would turn around and junk Michael. Uh, no! You tell Michael about the thing. Uh, never mind. I didn't know what to do. I ran my fingers along the knife I brought from camp. Then the cabin appeared out of nowhere. The mist was just starting to disintegrate around us. It was easier to make out everyone who everyone was now. I looked at the thing next to Michael. She looked just like Celeste. Oh no! The thing next to me leaned in front of me. It was a Celeste. Oh god. I should have ran or screamed, but my body was clenching up for no reason. The thing turned and walked into the mist. What the hell? I should have helped Celeste up. I caught up with the others as they entered the cabin, practically in tears. They couldn't find the car and were arguing about where we put it. I told them I saw. Obviously, they didn't believe me. Still, everyone hurried inside and locked the door. Thump, thump, thump. <laughs> oh, God. He followed us here. He really wants something from us. What the hell does he want with us? Someone get the shotgun! What? Get the shotgun! Shit! Okay. You gotta shoot! He will kill us! Shoot him! Good idea! Do that! Huh? What? Shoot! Shoot down! Oh, he actually shot? No joke! Nobody said a word for what felt like an hour. Finally, Michael slowly opened, walked towards the door and opened it. What they saw sent them all into show. Oh. It was Joe! I was Joe! The Joe was on the campus of the <laughs> Then everyone realized they had made a mistake! Joe outside the door! <laughs> but I'm Joe! Bad end! I didn't help Celeste up! I should have helped her up! I didn't help her up. <laughs> no! Oh no! Can I. Oh! It just ends! Oh no! There was no save system! Ah! Oh, God damn it! I didn't do it. Oh man, it's like midnight too. I gotta get to bed. Fudge nutters! It's. I, I gotta get up early tomorrow. I was. Oh, why didn't I help Celeste up? Okay. I'm going to revisit this, but I'm going to start at the point where... Because this is really interesting. It's really interesting. I really like it. Um, uh, so let me know in the comments below. I don't have time to go back through everything again and finish it like I normally would because it literally is... It, it's after midnight now, and i got to get up at 6 um, in order to uh, uh, go to a YouTube thing. Um, I'm actually getting some training at YouTube uh, Space, so it's going to be really cool. But i got to get up early uh, to uh, prep for that and go to it. So I'm sorry I didn't get far into it now i i apologize how did th how did that happen how did that the real joe and what and i was joe i was joe what happened i don't know i was having fun with that so anyway um i'll revisit this again later it's very story heavy but i think that's okay because i actually like the story so it's pretty cool so anyway thank you all so much for watching click the annotation for more videos that i've done and as always i will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!